Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. Given that the true track is 348 degrees true, drift is 17 degrees left, magnetic variation 32 degrees west, and compass deviation 4 degrees east, what is the compass heading? The options are A. 373 degrees compass, B. 033 degrees compass, C. 007 degrees compass, and D. 359 degrees compass. Now in order to go to a compass heading from a true track, we need to apply the normal mnemonic that we've used in other examples, Cadbury's Dairy Milk are Very Tasty, with a small addition. And that is Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty when you're driving trucks. Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty when you're driving trucks. And that stands for Compass, Deviation, Magnetic, Variation, True, Drift and True Track. Now we've got those, we can fill in the blanks. What do we know? We know that the True Track is 348 degrees true. We know that the Drift is 17 degrees left. We know that the Variation is 32 degrees west. We know that the deviation is 4 degrees east and the compass heading is what we're trying to find. So the first thing we have to do, or the next thing we have to do rather, is to identify the direction of the drift, the variation and the deviation. And to do that we simply add arrows. So left is simply to the left, west is also to the left and east is pointing to the right. The arrow in each case points to the larger number in each part of the calculation. So to go from true track to true heading via drift the arrow identifies for us that true heading is greater than true track. Therefore 348 plus 17 is 365 degrees true. The next part of the calculation is to go from true heading to magnetic heading via variation. Again the arrow points to the left which tells us that magnetic is greater than true. 365 plus 32 is 397 degrees magnetic. The last part of the calculation is to go from magnetic heading to compass heading via deviation. The arrow on this occasion points to the right, which tells me magnetic is greater than compass by 4 degrees. So 397 minus 4 is 393 degrees compass. Now you will have noticed that I did not adjust true heading or magnetic heading as I worked my way across to the problem. The maximum number of degrees you can have in a circle is 360. But my suggestion is you leave it until the end 
and make any corrections you need at the end. It could be that the question might sort itself out as it's moving from right to left or left to right. In this case, it doesn't. It's greater than 360. So to adjust this, we need to subtract 360 from the 393 degrees to give us a final answer of 033 degrees compass.